You're talking about how China would benefit from the Fed cutting rates. And would that just embolden mm. policymakers in China to uh, ease further? Is that the view? Mm. Mm. Yeah, I mean, generally, lower U.S. rate will help China, right? Fundamentally, you know, it gives Chinese policymakers more room in terms of monetary or physical easing. It also reduces the pressure on RMB, so there wouldn't be a fear of like a big one-off drop in the RMB-denominated assets. And also, in general, for the capital market, it should reduce the 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 the, the cost of capital, right? So it. Historically, when we look at the past 10 years, China market has a significant negative correlation with the U.S. Treasury yield, right? Negative 60 percent, and it was negative 70 percent for the past 20 years. But on the other side, for China, it's also about the selection of policy choices, right? You know, is cutting rate really helpful? I mean, we've seen in the Japan's case, even if rate is zero, it does not necessarily drive up property demand. So maybe policymakers need to think about, you know, what are the right policy tools to be deployed. Maybe physical policy will be more effective than monetary policy. Maybe rate cut itself is not going to boost the demand for mortgages, but instead more supportive policies to drive up the, the risk appetite, right, to create jobs, to create people's income expectations, that those policies will be more helpful. We're also seeing reports, Winnie, that China is considering to allow homeowners to refinance 5.4 trillion in mortgages. Uh, this got a huge surge in the mainland property stocks on Friday. Uh, the real estate problems, have they already been priced into the valuations? Uh, talk to us about this latest report. Um, generally, I don't have too high expectation on that. Now, this could happen, but will that be effective? Uh, not necessarily, because we've seen the repricing last year. We just had a roundup repricing last year, and based on PBOC's disclosure, in last September's repricing, average mortgage rate went down 73 basis points. And 12 months later, how much has that helped? Not much. And also, the thing is, even though you know banks reducing the mortgage rate, some people think it will free up the consumer balance sheet, that they have more cash to do consumption. Um, that's only one side of the story. The other side is to ensure the financial system stability. Banks need to make enough margin, right? So to maintain certain level of healthy bank margins, what banks will do is further cut the deposit rate. And again, 10 basis point of deposit rate cut would reduce household savings interest income by 150 billion. 10 basis point savings rate cut, 150 billion less income to the household. So, you know, any cut rate will probably be offset, largely offset by the deposit rate cut. So, as I mentioned earlier, rate cut now is not the best policy, right? Squeezing banks' margin is not going to go very far. It needs to create a positive feedback loop rather than this downward spiral.